speak Darkness has to bow Confusion has its final hour Well, good morning and happy second Thursday of Advent. Just as Jesus came into the world on the first Christmas, He can come into my heart. And once He does, then my world, my decisions, my very life can become centered around Him, the one who lives within me. I think this is exactly what Paul was talking about in Galatians chapter 2. Listen to what he says. And the life I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. This means I don't have to live by faith in my own goodness. I don't have to live by faith in my own competence or my own strength or my own courage. I can put it all on him. When faced with temptation, or faced with fear, or dealing with a really difficult person, I can be a little Christ. That is what the word Christian means, after all, a little Christ. I can simply say, it is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives through me. I'm just going to allow Jesus to live through me, so that the person on the other end experiences the love of Jesus, experiences Jesus through me. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, as I prepare to begin this day, I know that you love me and you gave yourself for me. This Advent season, help me to ponder your coming into the world to seek and save people like me. This day, help me to live by faith in you. Help me to trust you, to dress up in you, to be a little Christ walking in your ways. Help me to put on Christ to do what you would do, to be your hands and feet to a hurting world this day. I ask all of this of you, my wonderful counselor, almighty God, everlasting Father, and Prince of Peace. Amen. Friends, thanks for joining us on this Advent journey. I hope you can also join us for worship this Sunday, either in person or online. You can find out all about our Advent message series at www.loverington.org. Blessings upon your day.